Welcome back guys, good morning. So today we're gonna be going on a full day of eating for my CrossFit training. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys what I eat, my training, all of that today. I know I made another video, but it wasn't too detailed and someone actually wanted me to make this, especially because they're more of a runner and they've never done CrossFit training. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I eat today. I'm gonna go on a morning run, do my cardio, and then train. As you guys know, I train fasted, so I don't have anything to eat during my workout or before my workout. I literally have BCAAs during my weightlifting session. But after that, I do have a post-workout meal and then like a post-workout shake type deal. So I'm gonna show you guys everything I eat today and kind of bring you guys along my day today that way you guys kind of get an idea of what I eat eat for the type of training that I do. Hopefully this inspires you guys to make a few switch ups or hopefully you guys take away a few recipes or little meal ideas here for you guys and uh, you know how much you guys can be eating for your type of training. I'm also tracking macros and kind of my goal right now is just to stay lean. So this is also the reasoning behind what I'm eating, calories that I'm intaking. And also I want to perform. We did hit a 315 for six back squat earlier this week and I feel like my eating has had a lot to do with that in terms of I did bump up my calories a little bit and had a little bit more carbs. Anyway, we're feeling good. I'm gonna go on this run, guys. I'm gonna bring you guys along this whole day. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. Smoky out here, guys. Shoot. Smoky, still getting outside. Best way to start the day, let's go. Alright guys, post run here, ran 3.43 miles straight into a full glass of ice cold water, man. So we're getting that young, that young water here going. Yeah, ran around an eight minute pace today. I honestly was feeling good. I was like, wow, this feels really good. And then as I got further and further in, maybe to like the two mile mark, it felt hard, not gonna lie. I don't know if it's because of the smoke, guys. It's very smoky out here in California right now because of all the wildfires. I believe there's like 300 to like 500 fires going on. There's just crazy lightning. I think that's what started it also doesn't help it's been windy too so that definitely hasn't helped but it did get hard not gonna lie so i don't know what happened there it's feeling good and then boom so maybe it was the smoke maybe it's just me just not feeling 100 percent or maybe it's just hard i don't know i don't know either way good run man good sweat session got my uh got my breathing up got me warmed up we're gonna go ahead and jump into the lifting session now i'll show you guys what we do today let's get it Alright guys, so my intent with this is to just move really, really well. Keep it light, keep the reps moderately high, move really well. All right guys, that's gonna do it for our hang power clean sesh. I just did five sets of six to five. Went up to 135, wanted to move good just because I really need to work on these a lot more. I really just wanna move well through the movement, so that's what we did. Now we're gonna move on into the Metcon. It's gonna be double unders, bike, and hang cleans, man. So it should be pretty fun. I did you wrong, kid. It's my fault. I'm sorry. I can see my old world change because of you. It's
gonna do it for the workout did some hand cleans did a little hand clean metcon it took me 29 minutes and 40 seconds it was a long one and it was a lot harder than i thought i got tripped up on like my first hundred double unders but we finished it man that's all that matters i, I did the double unders all 300 all the way through broke up the rest of the workout i did 50 cal bike 25 hand cleans and then the hand cleans i did five 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 but yeah man good workout i am starving so i'm gonna do my first post-workout meal which is gonna be protein oats i'm gonna show you guys what that is oh i can't wait i'm so hungry Shorts are absolutely drenched. Can you guys see that dark blue, light blue? Yeah, that's not water. Straight sweat. I gotta make sure I hydrate today because that's crucial, especially for like energy levels. When I'm dehydrated, I notice that I'm like way more tired throughout the day. I'm like groggy. I'm like, I just need water. Like I'm thirsty and I'm like, like I'm like I'm a lot hungrier and tired. So it just means I need water a lot of the times. guys so the first meal of the day post-workout meal is gonna be something simple 40 grams of oats 50 grams of frozen blueberries and 40 grams of whey protein honestly guys like this is the simplest thing that I can make whenever I'm not on a smoothie kick this is my go-to because I'm getting the carbs I'm getting the protein and I'm getting a little bit of fruit a little bit of fresh fruit getting those micros in but honestly just I like the quickness of this because it takes maybe like two minutes to make carbs you're gonna shuttle all that whey protein straight to my muscles right away right after my post-workout and it's will hold me over so I can go get showered up, freshened up, and then actually make like a full meal. But yeah, quick little post-workout snack meal. And then I'm gonna have an actual meal, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. It smells so good. It's chocolate peanut butter blast protein. It smells like a brownie. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, so bomb. Try it out, guys. Anyways, first meal of the day works for me. Let's get it. Go ahead and get freshened up. Probably do a little bit of work for like an hour, maybe 45 minutes, and then get going on the actual meal mix. This is just a snack. I'm so hungry. Guys, so a little in between snack is gonna be one serving of these veggie straws. One serving has 130 calories. Super bomb, guys. It's summer right now, it's hot. And sometimes I just want a little bit of like crunchiness and saltiness. So I'm gonna sprinkle some lime on there, throw some hot sauce on it. Yes, the most Mexican thing to do, but hey, that's how we roll. Tastes amazing, guys. It's refreshing to me. I'm gonna go ahead and grub on this. Oh man, just like that. It's gone too and I'm still hungry. <laughs> Guys, keep in mind that I did run like three and a half miles this morning and did a full strength session and like little Metcon session. Boy's hungry, man. He's a hungry, hungry boy. All right guys, so finally made it back. I ran to the grocery store to do a few errands, but now we're cooking up the meat for my famous low carb day tacos. But basically I just got 10 ounces of 85.15 lean ground beef, five ounces of 93.7 lean ground turkey, seasoned it with some garlic powder. We got some Mrs. Dash lemon pepper seasoning. This is the best seasoning. I absolutely love it. And then we got some smoked paprika. So it should be pretty bomb. Just low heat, let it cook up nice and slowly, even though we're starving. But yeah, man, let's get it. Oh, 
All right guys, so my food is officially done. Patience is key with this meal just cause we're doing it super low heat. But basically I got a quarter, excuse me, I got five grams of this. So one serving of this chipotle lime mayo, if you guys have seen it on my other videos, if you guys haven't, all this stuff is literally on my summer favorites grocery haul video, which was like maybe two or three videos back. So go check it out. But basically this is 15 grams of serving and I do only 15 grams. The way I split it up is I have three of these high fiber tortillas also in that video, so go check it out. Basically, I do five grams, five grams, and five grams in each tortilla, and then I disperse my meat throughout my tortilla like this. Boom, sprinkle some lime like that, boom. And then I'll just top it with some hot sauces. Right here is some Nando's Peri Peri sauce. This is like a special type of sauce that I get. It's not every day that I normally have this, but we got some of that. And then we got some of this like taqueria sauce. And guys, these tacos, I love making them because I literally switch it up every day. Like one day I'll have like Mediterranean style. I'll throw like some tzatziki, some hummus on this. One day I'll have like Italian with some like marinara sauce and Parmesan cheese. The other day is Mexican. So it's super versatile, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and dig in, crush this meal. But yeah, man, this is meal number two. My mouth is watering. Let me give you a little taste test real quick. So bomb. All right, I gotta go. I need my little time. All right, guys, just got back from a little bike ride. Rode about 7.3 miles. Took us about 45 minutes. Nothing crazy. Just get out and about. I honestly sweat a little bit, so I'm gonna need a shower again. But another meal right now. It's not gonna be the final meal, but this is another meal here. I'm gonna have some egg whites, 300 grams exactly. This is for dinner, honestly. That's what we're gonna do because I'm gonna have breakfast tacos and then I'm gonna have a waffle to finish off the night. But 300 grams of egg whites. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the skillet. But yeah, 300 grams of egg whites. I'm either gonna have them as like little tacos or I might just throw them like with like maybe two sides of toast. We'll see guys, we'll see what I'm feeling right now. But yeah man, a lot of protein, high in protein and uh, just super filling, lots of volume. So it's gonna be the next meal. All right guys, so I am gonna have breakfast tacos. If you guys haven't tried soy rizo, it's basically soy chorizo. Super bomb, you can't tell the difference. Tastes just like meat, high in protein. And then having egg whites, gonna sprinkle some lime on there, throw some hot sauce. I don't really consider this hot sauce because it's like completely different. Some Nando's Peri Peri sauce. It's hot, but it's like just a, it's just a, it's a game changer, guys. It's next level. Anyways, this is what's gonna be the next tacos. I'm gonna have probably two tacos and then Stick around for dessert. It's gonna be a protein waffle, guys. Oh, I'm so pumped for that. Can't wait. Mmm. It's just a taco day, guys. It's just a taco day. You gotta enjoy what you're eating. Make sure you're getting your cows, hitting your macros. Oh, yeah. Let's go. That's good. Final meal snack going down. We got our protein waffles here. We got a Kodiak cakes mixture. So, literally, just the Kodiak cakes. We're gonna wash this down with a protein shake, man. Gonna throw this in a little. Waffle maker now. Oh yeah. Don't mind me making protein waffles, guys. devastated right now guys i was looking forward to this but i either need a new waffle maker or i need a new like non-stick spray i used avocado oil spray but literally it's like i don't know if you guys can listen listen to this listen to this it's like straight like a waffle chip guys i i don't want it to go to waste guys but i'm sad right now guys anyways we're gonna have to pivot and do something else guys i'll see you guys next week all right guys that was very disappointing honestly but i was just kind of in a mood for something sweet so i still crushed it guys i literally just threw a little bit of a just like non-fat butter spray or excuse me this is zero cal butter spray can't believe it's not butter if you guys haven't tried this it's amazing try it some of that on there and then i threw some walton farms zero calorie pancake syrup which is this bad boy right here boom yes i did grab it out of the trash don't you but then I also just nibbled on a piece of this uh, Bark Thin Dark Chocolate Mint. I always have like one of these pieces at night. Kind of just satisfies the sweet tooth. But honestly guys, that was about three or four meals there for you guys. So it was the protein oats in the morning, the ground beef, ground turkey tacos for lunch. And then we had the breakfast tacos for dinner. 
and then the protein waffle for dessert slash to top it off. So that's gonna do it for this full day of eating, training for CrossFit, guys. Woke up super hungry around a run. You guys came with me on that CrossFit workout. Yeah, man, then we had that lunch. We had, we went on a bike ride, came back, had dinner. We had our little dessert. But yeah, man, so far I think that's gonna do it. Honestly, I'm just eating based off of like how I'm feeling right now. And honestly, I'm pretty satisfied. I'm pretty full. It's right around 10 o'clock right now. So I'm gonna finish off my night by doing some reading and then some go on mobility first. But yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and read. And if I do decide to eat something else or do something else, I'll just go ahead and show you guys. But just wanna kind of recap the video kind of tell you guys what happened right now big fail especially on this full day of eating so we're gonna have to redeem ourselves maybe in the morning we'll see but that's gonna do it for right now all right guys so this is the book that i'm currently reading show your work by austin killian honestly guys so far so good such an amazing book it was an awesome recommendation that i actually got from ali it was whenever i was setting up my ipad i'm just looking up different things on the ipad pro which i absolutely love especially for workflow for creative processes for getting my content in terms of editing photos swipe workouts for instagram if you guys aren't following me there follow me there shots underscore g but it was absolutely amazing anyways he recommended this book along with another one and this is what i'm reading right now my goal is to finish it by the end of this weekend man so obviously filming today editing tomorrow but between then just reading such a good book guys such a good book highly highly recommend especially if you're a creative person or you have something to share with the world or trying to get your message out there it's especially good for you if you guys haven't made the leap yet to start because this is all about like why you should put your work out there basically but yeah man i'm gonna go ahead and read do my mobility and then we'll see if we if we get hungry or not we'll see Alright guys, we're back. Rod, take your earpods out. It's freaking rude. Don't you guys just hate when someone has earpods and you can't tell whether or not they're listening to something and you have a full-on conversation. Next thing you know, they're like, what? Yeah, anyways, that's gonna do it for the full day of eating. Unfortunately, the final meal was a disaster. And honestly, it was kind of just eating based off of how I felt yesterday. So lucky for you guys, that means more full days of eatings are coming, guys. Especially like with just normal day-to-days that I eat. I'm gonna show you guys a few more full days of eating just based off of a few different days that I do consistently. But that's basically my go-to meals right now at the first half. Those other last two meals are kind of just like treats or if I'm like super hungry throughout the day. So what that means is, basically Basically, you guys are in luck. There's gonna be more full days of eatings to come, so you guys don't wanna miss it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man. I hope you guys got a few little recipe ideas or tips on what you guys can do to spice up your food, get the calories in, and still make those gains. We all know nutrition is a huge part in making gains in terms of building muscle, recovering, and performance. It's fuel for your body. If you wanna perform, you gotta fuel it with the right thing, so. Hope you guys enjoyed that full day of eating. Comment below what you guys wanna see next. Also, maybe drop like a recipe video coming up soon here, but stay tuned for maybe a comparison video this week. At least two new videos every week, guys. You guys don't wanna miss it, so stay tuned. Go over to Instagram, follow me there, shots underscore G. Let me know you guys came from here. As always, Breakfast Club CTG, we got this beat.